KG5 EIU, I'm going to show you how to use IRC DDB remote on your iPhone to control your Pi Star. It's on the same network as your iPhone. First thing you want to do is go download the IRC DB remote app and get it configured. This assumes your Pi Star is uh, up and operational and working on your network and everything's good to go. So inside the uh, app on your uh, iPhone, you can go into settings and configure uh, the host for the Pi Star. And want to add the pi starlocal dot for the host name uh, because chances are if you move your Pi Star around and it's set up for DHCP, the IP address will always change. You could add the IP address there, but it may change down the road, so it's best to use the host name. The server port uh, is 122. And then the password is whatever the password you set in the configuration file on the Pi Star, which is set under the D Star configuration right there. So those two passwords have to match, and after that's done, you can then start using the app to control your Pi Star. You're going to save it, get it back on out of there. And uh, now you can connect up to reflectors. Here's 30 Charlie. Um, we can go ahead and try to connect to that one. You can see in the dashboard, I have my uh, ID 51 here turned tur turn to that frequency already, so you can hear the connect. And uh, in the app, you can see uh, Reflector 30 Charlie is connected. You can also dis disconnect. And you can see uh, the disconnect coming in right there, not linked. Um, say you want to connect to a, a local repeater. Here's a, a local repeater here in town, W5FC B-side. We'll connect to that one. And uh, that connects right up as well. So we're using the IRC DDB remote app with the Pi Star which is a fabulous piece of software uh, to remote control the Pi Star on the same network. Uh, it's just that simple and it works that well. Uh, very, very slick, guys. Uh, this is Dave, 73, KG5 EIU in Dallas.